If being a lesbian were anything like Netflix movies portrayed it to be, my fingers would look like canned prunes all day, every day. Because of all of the baths I take with my super hot girlfriend while we talked about the meaning of life. I would drink so much coffee in different cafes with this super hot girlfriend, I'd be going to the bathroom doing you know what, at least 10 times a day. I'd also never sleep. I'd also know the meaning of life. If being a lesbian were anything like Netflix movies portrayed it to be, sweet as toothache's music would always play in the background. Like a folk song about getting wasted while I drank pink wine with my super hot girlfriend. Or a folk song about being in love. 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 While I walk through the pouring rain with my super hot girlfriend. Or a Smith song while I slow dance in my goddamn living room with my super hot girlfriend. There would be a song for every occasion, so long as there was another girl in the picture. Because if being a lesbian were anything like Netflix movies portrayed it to be, the audience would not blink or shudder when my super hot girlfriend turns out to be the manipulative lady killer type. Just like all the other super hot girlfriends on the screen. They wouldn't call her that to her face, and they'd tell me she's just protective, or too head over heels in love with me. My traumatic childhood, which I've been trying to keep between us throughout the entire film, would be treated like like another laughable trope. Everyone would act like my time in the LGBT community is nothing more than a phase. Nothing more than something for straight men to rub their hands all over. <laughs> Near the end of the film, when I admit on camera that I have depression, it will not be a surprise. After all, aren't all of these girls supposed to be sad? All of our stories look the same in Hollywood's nearsighted eyes as if we are all the same mouth, begging as though we have not been properly fed. We are begging for acceptance. We are begging for a good, healthy love story because sometimes these films are just too realistic. When one out of three LGBT, rela LGBT relationships is abusive, in some way you begin to believe it will happen to you. When you hear of another murder or suicide within your community, you begin to believe it will happen to you. When your sexuality is seen as sexy and not human, you begin to believe you are a walking sin. When every movie tries to teach you that when you find the so-called perfect girl, you will end up another dead lesbian, you begin to believe all of them. Woo